Chronic low back pain is a debilitating medical condition, affecting the quality of life for many people today. In the medical practice for the pain management specialist, there are many interventional techniques available to manage chronic pain. Your physician has recommended that the medical treatment plan for your chronic low back pain include a procedure known as a spinal endoscopy or epiduroscopy. The purpose of this video is to provide you, the patient, with an overview that defines spinal endoscopy, identifies the most common reasons for performing spinal endoscopy, explains how spinal endoscopy is performed, and details what instructions will be given to you, the patient, by the physician after you've undergone a spinal endoscopy procedure. Your physician may be considering spinal endoscopy for one of the following reasons. You have symptoms and signs of inflammation in the area of a spinal nerve root without conclusive findings on x-ray, MRI, or nerve conduction tests. You have a disc injury or other cause of nerve root injury or other cause of nerve root irritation but have not responded to medications or standard epidural injections. You have scarring in the epidural space that is surrounding a spinal nerve and causing pain. The procedure discussed in this video is only one technique for management of chronic low back pain. The physician who performs the procedure is responsible for determining and utilizing the appropriate technique for each individual patient. When used with a fiber optic endoscope, the EBI ViewCath spinal endoscopic system can be used in the lumbar and sacral spine for observing epidural anatomy and pathology and for the delivery of drugs approved for epidural indications. Spinal endoscopy is a procedure for directly observing the inside of the spinal canal. The spinal canal is located inside the spinal column. In the spinal canal are found the spinal cord, spinal nerves, and their respective coverings. Spinal endoscopy allows the physician to inspect these structures for evidence of inflammation, scarring, compression, or other abnormalities. Medications can be injected through the catheter directly into a specific spinal nerve. During spinal endoscopy, a very thin fiber optic endoscope, about the diameter of a pencil lead, is placed into the spinal canal using a steerable catheter. The extremely small size of the fiberscope and catheter allows the gathering of reliable information with minimal risk and discomfort to the patient. The procedure is performed in an outpatient hospital, clinic setting, or freestanding surgery center. The most common reasons for performing spinal endoscopy include the treatment of back or leg pain caused by inflammation or compression of a spinal nerve due to vertebral disc injury, postoperative scarring from prior back surgeries, and narrowing of the spinal canal. Spinal endoscopy can also diagnose scarring or inflammation around a spinal nerve when other tests are inconclusive, as well as enable the physician to directly observe the inside of the spinal canal and inject medications to the targeted site of pain. The procedure is performed with local anesthesia. Intravenous sedation may be added if necessary. A soft steerable catheter less than two and a half millimeters in diameter is used. The steerable catheter contains a passage for the fiber optic endoscope and the injection of irrigation fluid and medications into the spinal canal. The catheter enters into the spinal canal at the lowest part of the spine near the tailbone. Images of the inside of the spinal canal are displayed on a video monitor. Permanent images can be made if needed. Spinal endoscopy usually lasts 15 to 30 minutes. It's typically not painful, although patients may experience feelings of pressure in the back or legs and occasional tingling sensations during the procedure. Patients are usually ready to go home within 30 minutes after the procedure is performed. Side effects from having the procedure done may include a minor headache and soreness or drainage at the insertion site near the tailbone. A severe spinal headache is possible, but very rare. 
Major complications are also very rare, but may require immediate medical treatment. The following symptoms should be reported promptly to the physician. High fever, vomiting, severe headache or neck stiffness, persistent pain at the insertion site, and progressive weakness or numbness in the legs. After the procedure, the physician will tell the patient to rest for about one day. Patients should not drive or perform any strenuous activity for the first 12 hours after the procedure. Patients should not make important decisions for about one day after the procedure as well. The physician may prescribe medications for post-operative pain. It's important not to consume alcohol in combination with these prescribed medications. In order to become a fully informed patient, please do not hesitate to discuss with your physician the device and the procedure you have elected to have performed. Spinal endoscopy is a safe and effective method for treating patients with chronic low back pain and leg pain arising from certain types of conditions or injuries. The EBI ViewCath Spinal Endoscopic System is a valuable device for your physician to use in your medical treatment plan.